Today's topic about hot spot and cold spot. Um, when you're doing BGA rework, uh, the solder bowl uh, reaches, say, about 218 degrees Celsius. That's a lead-free solder I'm referring to. Um, what you will sort of come across with the fact that is sometimes the chip will sort of, when you're nudging the chip, the chip is only sliding ever so much, but it, it's not sort of, it's sliding this way, but no movement here. And that's particularly because of certain areas on the BGA will have cold spot, other areas will have a higher temperature, which is known as hot spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and sort of demonstrate this to you um, now, and uh, hopefully you, you can have a better understanding of what's going on here, basically. So let me sort of get me Jovi set up. Uh, profile set ready and um, then what I'll do let me just bring this over I'm going to try and get a better angle because I don't think you're going to be able to see uh, you are you are able to see actually let me zoom in that's as close as I can get unfortunately let me just see if there is is that the best I can do Okay, that is the best wicket I can do actually. So what I'm going to do now is, before sort of putting the upper hit down, I should have applied a bit of flux. Then that'll be more than enough. Okay, let's put this back and then let's run the profile and see what, what happens from here. Okay, I'm only using two thermocouple here, which is uh, more than enough. Now, one of the things to remember um, with the Jovi profile has now begun. Um, one of the things to remember is when I updated the firmware for the Jovi, the fan uh, sort of coming on more regularly. Whether that's a good thing or not, Maybe it is, maybe just to keep all the components, internal components, uh, uh, cool. Whereas before, the fan weren't kicking on, you know, sort of uh, on a regular basis. But as I said, with the firmware upgrade, it's doing it more regularly. Which is a bit of annoying because it's quite noisy, the fan. Um, I will be sort of turning my extractor fan on, so unfortunately, the level of noise will increase. So you're just going to have to bear with me. Right, we're at 71 degrees Celsius. I'm using a laptop to try and run the profile. Usually I use my uh, PC with screen capture and all that, but unfortunately I can't do that today. The other issue is that uh, the Jovi website, um, I tried downloading the um, version 5 of the PC suit and unfortunately it, 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 it won't let me download. So luckily I had uh, several backup of the, ver the PC suit version 5 on my external hard drives. So I've been, I've, I've been sort of uh, fortunate enough to sort of get it installed on my laptop and uh, crack on with the uh, rework attempt. This chip has come off. I will be sort of reworking on this chip. This is actually from a working board. What's actually happened here is basically the uh, Xbox uh, be sort of suffered from a liquid damage, so I know that the chip is working fine. Uh, the south bridge have been taken off, so I'll be I'll be taking several uh, BGA from the chip from the uh, PCB and then transfer them onto a, a board that's not liquid damage, uh, which is a bit of a lengthy process, but I'm going to do do that for a friend. Right, we're reaching. Uh, 158 on one side and 141 on the other one and let me quickly sort of uh, show you okay there you go here's the laptop and as you can see that the temperature is okay so we already have established there is a hot and cold spot 
on the uh, PCB as the PCB gets sort of warmed up. Let's sort of uh, put this back in its place and zoom in. This was, would have been perfect if I could actually sort of uh, have my uh, screen capture sort of so you can see the temperature in real time on the thermal couple side of it, but this one's reading lower than the one on the left hand side. So that's higher, that's lower. And now we're reaching 197 on that, that side and 180 on this side. You will probably see that the solder balls are becoming liquidous and I will be using a very just a very special tool to sort of remove this older as well. Right, so we already have started. This area here is already started liquidus. Okay, just that area. No movement on this side. I don't know if you can see the... Uh, yep, yeah, you can see the sparkling. Now slowly, it's coming on this way. So we've still got a cold spot here. That is now liquidus. And we've reached... 229 degree on that side and 210 degree on this side and now we are literally on this section apart from this last row there's no movement I don't know if you can see that but let me see if I can sort of uh, see you can just about see the uh, sparkling and that sort of that's that's the way of saying that the solder balls are liquidous Okay, and as I said, I'm going to demonstrate something to you. So this is this is what so you know hot and cold spot means. Um, so when it reaches, as I said, when you reach its temperature for this chip to come off, and you're trying to sort of uh, push, and it's not sort of moving because there's still sort of cold spot on this side. And uh, I'm going to use this very special tool to sort of remove. Uh, thank you, but I'm going to leave the profile running. This is where, when you don't have uh, good week or chip week, whatever you want to call it. See what's happening here? There's already a cold spot on this side of the board itself. So I'm going to sort of... Uh, I haven't stopped the profile, but for some reason the, the, the heaters have stopped so we just sort of move on the uh, profile again. In fact I'm going to sort of uh, manually run the uh, okay, supply, the start, okay, I'm going to manually run the uh, upper heater and the lower heater just so that I can complete the process of uh, cleaning the pads. I'm going to apply a bit more flux. But the main purpose of the video was to demonstrate the fact that uh, what cold and hot spot under the BGA sort of means. I'm running the Jovi manually now. You're getting all this. Yep. It reaches 235 and then it shut the uh, upper heater and the lo lower heater down. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to sort of remove this thermal couple into a side and then let's make another attempt of cleaning the uh, pads. So it will get noisy. It will get very noisy. Um, I will need to stop the fan because that's going to make my room very smelly. But the point is now let's just sort of uh, stop the profile and show you exactly what we have achieved here. No pads are lifted, nice and clean job. There we go. Okay, so 
when you when you're stuck with uh, no good good week, you can always use one of them. Now you're probably wondering what this what is this and where can you get them from? Okay, I specifically made this. The plastic was given by a friend at Insight International. Um, he he himself makes these and sell them on eBay. So if you check, if you type in Insat, I N S A T Insat International on um, Google, you'll find the guys sort of selling these uh, stuff basically for, for as little as ten pound. So if you if you're keen on using these, you're most welcome for about ten pound. So that's how we how we sort of uh, learn about what what uh, cold spot and hot spot is under the BGA. And this this thing where you've seen that this particular area was sort of leak hot and it was higher temperature. Further this way was cold. I'm repeating myself. This was your hot spot. This was your cold spot, basically. So don't panic. Just set your machine to about 235 up to 240, whatever it is it takes for you to sort of um, take the chip off. But be careful that you don't sort of expose excessive amount of heat because you'll you'll end up with a popcorn effect on your BGA chip. Um, or when you hear a crack or a pop from the BGA chip itself, unfortunately, that chip is fucked. So let me show you what I mean by popcorn effect. That's if I have a chip that's damaged to that extent. Um, I might be struggling. Yes, I might be struggling. Maybe not, maybe not. Let me just see if I can show you what's going on here now. So this chip, where you can see this bloat here, there, 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 there and there, this is what popcorn effect means. This, this bloat, this popcorn's here as well. Effectively what that means is you've, you've, over, you've exposed too much heat onto the chip and as a result of that, the chip, you've fried it basically. That's, that's the worst case scenario and when this happens, you can forget about sort of this chip. This tip, chip goes in the bin basically. So that's what popcorn effect means. Hopefully you find this video helpful um, and uh, take care, all the best. Bye for now.